Hello my most amazing artists and welcome back to week two of our paper bird projects. Paper bird? Paper bird houses. <laughs> okay, so today we are going to be creating the loom for our weaving and if you haven't watched our mini lesson yet then make sure you go watch that so you know what I'm talking about in this video. We are going to be using this paper that we should have made last week. We have made this paper using just brown paint and different texture tools. So as you can see there's lots of different textures on this painted piece of paper okay so you're going to need this piece of paper that we made last time if you colored yours that is perfectly fine just make sure it's 100% covered in brown and you drew some different interesting designs or textures on it okay the last material that we're going to need today is a pair of scissors and that's it all right so before we get started let's go ahead and say our class mantra all together on the the count of three. One, two, three. My mantra, I am positive, I am creative, I am mindful, I am amazing, I am an artist. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is my texture piece of paper. I'll run my finger across so I can feel all of those different cool textures that we added and a pair of scissors and we're ready to get started, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I want my loom, this is going to be our loom, this piece of paper, we want it to be vertical, okay? That means it's going straight up and down. If it's like this, this is horizontal, that's where it's going from side to side. Let's make sure our paper is vertical, okay? So that's the first step, make sure your paper is vertical, please. Then we are gonna take the bottom and we're gonna fold it upwards okay let's fold it upwards press down on your fold so it doesn't come undone all right so now my paper is folded in half pretty easy huh this is going to get a little bit more tricky a little bit more difficult so make sure that you are following with me step by step. Don't go ahead of me or don't skip steps because you might accidentally make a mistake. And I worked really hard on my texture piece of paper. So I wanna take care of it and go slow, take my time and try my best. Okay, you should do the same. So after I fold my piece of paper in half, I'm just gonna take the top flap right here, okay? And I am going to do a little fold downwards. So I'm taking the top flap and just folding it down about an inch. Okay, and I'm really pressing down to make sure that fold stays in place. This fold is really important because it's going to tell my scissors where to stop cutting. I like to call it the stop line. Okay, so run your finger across this line and tell yourself this is the stop line. That's where our scissors are going to stop cutting, okay? Because by the end of making your loom today, we want to make sure this piece of paper is still in one piece. We don't want any pieces falling off of it, okay? And this line is going to help us do that. All right, so recap. I turn my paper vertical, folded it upwards, and then folded a little strip downwards just like this okay and this is our stop line so now I need to take my finger and run it across the bottom this is the folded edge this is where our scissors are going to start cutting do not cut on the side that opens up because that is how your loom will fall apart okay it's really important that we cut on the folded edge all right so as I'm running my finger across I'm gonna find the middle of this folded edge of paper. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so the middle is right here. So I'm gonna take my scissors. Once you make a cut, it is permanent, okay? So we need to be sure before we make any cuts and take our time and try our best. So my scissors are right in the middle, or as close to the middle as I can get it, and I'm going to cut upwards. But once my scissors get to this line, we know we need to stop cutting, okay? So stop, all right? If you cut past your stop line, then you're gonna cut these two pieces in half 
and your loom will be falling apart, okay? So it's really important that we only cut up to the stop line. As you can see, my loom is still in one piece. There are no pieces falling off, and that's exactly what we want. And it looks like we have a cool pair of pants now, walking around. <laughs> All right, so I cut this big piece into two pieces. One, two. All right, now I need to make four pieces out of these two pieces. Does anyone wanna guess how I can do that? What do you think? If you said we need to cut this section in half and this section in half, then you are correct, my friend. You can give yourself a pat on the back. So I'm gonna run my finger across the bottom of this first, let's call it pant leg, this first pant leg, and I wanna find the middle. Make sure you're still on the folded edge. Do not cut where your paper opens. And I am going to cut straight down the middle of that pant leg. All right, but when we get to the stop line, we need to stop cutting, okay? Do not cut past the stop line. Now, we have one, two, three pieces, but we want four. So what do we need to do? We need to cut this bigger piece in half, right? So I'm gonna find the middle using my finger, and then I know where my scissors need to cut. Straight down the middle. Will you tell me when to stop cutting, please? And stop. Ooh, I almost cut past the line. Thank you guys for reminding me to stop at the stop line. Very good. So now we have one, two, three, four pieces. All right, we have one more thing to do. I wanna cut these four pieces into eight pieces, okay? How do you think I can do that? What do you think? How can I get eight pieces out of these four pieces? What do you think? Oh, we're gonna cut each of these four pieces in half, okay? And just as a reminder, my whole piece of paper is still intact because I stopped cutting at the stop line. If you cut past the stop line, then you're gonna have pieces falling off and we do not want that. All right, so now I need eight pieces, so I'm gonna take my first section here, I'm gonna find the middle, and I'm gonna cut upwards. Tell me when to stop. And stop. All right, very good. Now, a lot of mistakes happen during this part because we wanna make eight pieces, but some people accidentally cut this smaller piece in half again, and we don't wanna do that. After we cut one piece in half, we're gonna skip over to the next bigger piece, okay? So skip over to the next bigger piece, find the middle on the bottom folded edge, and cut upwards. Tell me when to stop. Oh, I cut past the line just a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay if you do. Just don't cut all the way through, please. Okay, so now I need to skip these smaller pieces and go to my next bigger piece. Find halfway on the bottom folded edge. Cut upwards, and please tell me when to stop cutting. And stop. Thank you. All right, looks like we just have one more piece to cut. Am I gonna cut this one? No. What about this one? No. What about this one? This piece right here. No, why not? Because those are all smaller pieces, we wanna cut the next bigger piece, which is right here on the edge. This piece is bigger, so I know it's my next one to cut. I'm gonna find the halfway mark on the bottom folded edge, cut upwards, and you tell me when to stop. Stop. Very good. So our whole goal was to get eight pieces. Let's see if we did it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay, it looks like we got it. All right, if you have eight pieces all together, then you can give yourself a pat on the back. Good job. And when you open it up, all of your pieces are still in one piece. There is nothing falling off. And this, my friends, is your loom, okay? That's all we are going to do today. This is what is going to hold our whole weaving all together. 
okay? Next week, we are going to start weaving into these strips to create that cool checkerboard pattern we saw on our mini lesson. Remember to take your time while you're doing this and make sure you are following this video step by step, not going ahead and not skipping any steps because each step is equally important in creating your beautiful loom, okay? I can't wait for next week because it's gonna be so much fun getting to weave into this loom. I can't wait to see how your looms turn out. I know they're going to be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.